Now we will introduce the spare parts for the cryolipolysis machine. These are the working handle. This is for double chain and the small working handle and two medium working handles and the big working handle. And they are the replaced heads, total 13 pieces. Okay. And this is the anti freezing membranes, bun tie. This is the ruber for the working handle. And the filter foam. This is the lip, stri uh, lip proof stripe. And the fat caliper. Water cup. And the tube. This is the power line for this machine. Before using this machine, we have to inject full water inside. This is the water inlet hole, water outlet hole, and the water overflow hole. Now we will in inject the water. Uh, firstly, we have to insert two, uh, two tubes. One is the tube for the overflow hole. Before installation, we have to press this silver button and make sure this tip is up. Then we insert the tube. Okay. And another water cup we will insert to the water in the hole. Okay. The same operation. Press the silver button first. And then okay. Now we inject the water. If the water is full inside. If you uh, it will come out from the water overflow hole, okay. And when you don't want to use this machine anymore, we have to release the water inside. Then we have to use this tube insert to the water outlet hole. The same operation. Press the silver button, and then insert insert the tube then the water will come out from water outlet hole and next step we will teach how to uh, clean the wastewater bottle first step we have to use our finger in this position and then pull out this uh, black button then the wastewater bottle Okay, after cleaning it, we have to uh, please make sure this ruba is here. Otherwise, it will influence the vacuum for this machine. Okay, and the next step, we should put this water bottle here. And then make it to the right position. And then tighten this black button. It is okay. And the next step, we will install the working handle. Okay. Now you can see there are two tips in this working handle. We have to press the white button first. Press. Okay. And make sure these two tips are up. And then match the hole. Okay. And push you will hear the sound that it is finished and after you want uh, after that you want to remove the working handle the same press the white button and pull out it is okay and others are the same now we will install well the working handle Okay, the first step, we will need to use this rubber to insert here. Please match the second step, we will use the filter foam put here. And the last step, use this lip proof strip. We need to make sure this part is installed well because the liquid 
uh, to avoid the liquid rush back to the working handle. Okay, after the robot installed well, we will put this handle cup on the working handle, like this, match the position, and then like that, we will use this part and then tie it, and the same operation, okay. Okay, and others are the same operation, okay. Okay, now we will enter into the operation screen. There are two languages for option. We choose English. And you can see that there are different parameters for option. And this is the modes. Continue modes, pause modes, okay? And the vacuum adjustment. We will suggest that you can start from the lowest level, like 25K part, and the temperature adjustment. Lowest temperature can reach to minus 13. Okay, after setting, just press this button. Okay, press the button and press the white button on the working handle. Then the treatment can be started. Okay, before doing the cryopolysis treatment, we have to put the anti-freezing membrane on the treatment part. Okay. Anti-freezing membrane. Okay, after putting the anti-freezing membrane on the treatment part, we can also put uh, put the plastic wrap beyond the anti-freezing membrane. Okay, you can choose to put or not. We will setting the parameters on the screen. Normally, we will start from the uh, lower level. For example, the free, uh, the temperature we will start from the minus five. Okay. And put the working handle on the treatment part and press the white button on the working handle.